What's up everyone? Welcome to Ye Old Stagecoachy Road. The ever family favorite. Morning blast. Get out, get some wind. Have some fun. And rant about fucking media and the stupid frenzy that they've got going on. Everyone is up in arms because a handful of fucking people have died because of some shady ass vaping liquid that's been going around. It, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I really do wonder sometimes why I even keep Facebook around. I mean, I've already knocked it down to like, I have like six friends on Facebook. That's it. That's it. I'm getting to the point where it's like, I'm just gonna get rid of it all together. That place is just a fucking cesspool of boomer babies spreading the most illiterate, anti-scientific shit ever. I'd much rather hang out in the comment section of a YouTube video than Facebook. Yeah, so, in case you've been living in a cave, maybe over there, because there is a cave over that way. You've been uh, under a rock, in a cave, on a space station, floating somewhere in another galaxy. So like, a handful of people, like six last I saw, and people have uh, like died from vaping related illnesses. And now the, you know, the big media is on this tirade, handing out pitchforks and on this you know, giant vaping ban because I'm sure R.J. Reynolds and Philip Morris gave CNN our fat stack of cash because oop, and we've got an opportunity to get a whole bunch of uh, smokers back in our pocket. So what it is, is these uh, shady e-liquids have been going around. Most of them have been connected to cannabinoids, you know, CB, whatever, CBC, THC, all these, these marijuana byproducts. And a big reason behind that is because like THC is a fat soluble chemical. That's why it you know stores in your fat cells, which is why you can piss hot for a month long. And because of this, they use a they use oils to put it into solution for you to to vape. It doesn't have to be an oil, but it's easy to put it into an oil, this thing. So these like shady back alley e-liquids have these, you know, vitamin E, which is a fat soluble solvent, that you put the THC in suspension for you to vape. Except for the fact that, you know, your lungs hate oil. They they can't they can't deal with it. It doesn't have the facilities to to, to handle oil in the you know the air sacs in your lung. So as you vape these oils, it coats the air sacs and it, it causes a form of pneumonia. Which, yeah, if you just stick to regular e-liquid, you're fine. Because polyglycol and vegetable glycerin don't do that. They're water soluble, so they can, they can be absorbed into your lungs if they do build up in any quantity. And they, you know, there is a significant amount of science behind the PG and VG liquids. You know, these are things that are used to put your kid's asthma medication into suspension so that they can inhale it. So the, you know, the media running around going, ban vape, ban vape. Why don't they ban Chipotle? Just as many people died from E. coli from eating Chipotle lettuce than vaping, ban chipotle, or hell, ban lettuce, ban romaine, ban romaine, <laughs> but you, 
those companies don't have anything uh There isn't some anti-Chipotle corporation running around out there to, to lobby on behalf of the anti-lettuce establishment. But no, because these freaking fat cat baby boomers with their million dollar fucking paychecks are losing money hand over fist because people are seeing that, you know, it's a dumb habit that kills 480,000 people a year. So they're finding a way out through these alternate devices that are heaps and bounds exponentially better. Are they great for you? Sure. They're probably not as great as just breathing regular fresh mountain air. But you know, hell, even nowadays, some city airs are worse than the shit that you'll get out of the vape devices. And the worst part of a vape device is the flavorings. Because, you know, who knows what kind of chemical concoctions they come up with to make your stuff taste like strawberries. So I seriously doubt that there's any actual strawberries in that stuff. A regulation? I would love to see regulation. I would love to be able to look at a label and go, Oh, hey, no, this is actual natural strawberry extract. Or if it's, you know... Zybean 27X2 that makes it taste like strawberries. So yeah, immediately jumping to ban this is just like it's significantly dumb. It's dumber than dumb. It's <laughs> oh man, I should not be in full power right now. I need to fix this. This, this really is a huge, a huge thing. thorn in my side because of vaping saved my freaking life. I had been smoking for over 20 years. I was surrounded by smokers as a kid. I picked it up way too early in my life. And you know, I, was, I think I was 11 years old the first time I, I picked up a cigarette. And I was smoking pretty regularly from 12, 13 years old. Right? So, yeah, I picked up a vape device in 12, I think. 11 or 12. And I did a uh, kind of a, I kind of dual vaped and smoked for about a year, year and a half. And then finally I just switched completely over to vaping at one point. I realized it was too much of a pain in the ass to smoke. Yeah, just just the smell of it and the always washing my hands because with my OCD, every time I I had a cigarette, I had to wash my hands because I couldn't deal with the thought of the cigarette being on my hands. So and it just so naturally, I just switched over to vaping. And then I just started whittling away at the, the nicotine, slowly dropping and dropping and dropping the, until I got to the point where I had no nicotine in my vape device. And it finally dawned on me that I actually hadn't vaped in a couple of days. And at that point I realized, well shit, I'm fucking, I'm done, I'm cured. I, I've broken the chain, I have escaped the freaking, I, you know, the, the guard dog that was holding me down and stealing all of my money. I mean, shit, at, a, at least a pack a day, that was freaking eight dollars a day that was just gone. Gold Hill Airsoft. Cool. It was at that point that I started being able to, uh, you know, afford fancy fucking motorcycles and shit. <laughs> like, oh my god. Look at all this money I have. I had like an extra almost $300 a month. I'm 
like shit. That's a fucking motorcycle payment. That's like a fucking fancy ass, like all the electronics touring around the world. Giant off-road dirt bike motorcycle payment. Just, just cutting that, cutting that chain. Just getting rid of that habit. It opened up so much. And it, so yeah, so that's why it's it really is just a huge point of contention for me that everyone is, you know, well everyone, but, you know, big media out there trying to get rid of this out for people. And for the people that are too afraid, don't be. Go find a vape device. Go to a vape store, get a reputable device with a reputable liquid and and break the habit. Get away from cigarettes because that shit will kill you, literally. I watched so many family members waste away and die because of that. They had a heart disease, lung disease, cancer. It just, it just destroys your life. I was getting to the point where I had to catch my breath halfway up the stairs in my own home. I couldn't walk up the stairs to my bedroom without taking a break. And that was just at you know, 33 years old. And now here I am, 39. I don't even get fucking winded out here doing this off-road shit. That was another thing, was just... Within the first year of being off of cigarettes, I was... My, you know, PT for the military improved drastically. I was getting better scores. And that was the time that I actually started getting, like, promoted and shit. Because I was able to actually compete. I was able to compete at a level that even the, you know, 20-somethings weren't able to compete at. So, yes. Some form of regulation. You know, I'd like to see labels on vape devices and vape liquids and stuff. A little more control, sure. But outright banning, getting rid of this stuff. No, that's just dumb. That is literally like banning romaine lettuce because some people get E. coli. I'm gonna go play around some more. You guys, uh, you know, you know the drill. I have more content coming, so hit the subscribe button. Uh, make sure you click the notification bell so you can see all the stuff as soon as it comes out. I got more videos coming. Uh, I got a couple build videos and we went up to Crater Lake and we looked around up there, saw some great views. So stay safe, have fun. I'll see y'all later. Yeah. Good stuff. I'm not gonna do that trail though. I'm gonna stick with this one. Peace out y'all.